Previously on the block. I don't feel any compulsion to spend any time with them. Life at the block isn't getting any more comfortable. Sometimes all you have to hold on to is being a bitch. We don't need to avoid them. We just don't need to go out of a way to, to spend time with them. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, though, is it? Go outside and lift it from outside. Okay. Oh, Christ, he's gone. I think you shouldn't have done it. Now, push the accelerator and let the clutch out slowly. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, oh. Oh, stop. I think we hit a pin. Tonight on the block, they're 39 days down and the game is taking its toll. Come on, you guys, teamwork. I just don't want to play anymore. They're doing battle with their tradesmen. <sighs> These are fragile. Oh, God, what have they done? I come home and there's crap everywhere. It's got a lot to do. They're fighting against time. Why are you being such a pig? Because there's the nothing fire. we can do about it. And they come face to face with their greatest oh, enemy yet, <laughs> the budget. We won't have a room to reveal on Sunday. Oh my God. <laughs> Stephen doesn't trust me. And you've only got so much money, and we've reached it. <laughs> it's Monday morning, and that means it's back to work for everyone. I feel like crap. I'm gonna have a sick day. Oh, it's uh, not long after 6 o'clock, coming up to 6.30, I guess, and I thought I'd better get off to work and get some work done. My work's piling up on the desk. It's been incredibly tough getting through, getting through both. It's just a bit of a time challenge. You just actually have to be in the office for a certain number of hours to get it all done. Three sixty. That's typical Jay's for you. What he should do is concentrate on winning the second room instead of writing that sort of stuff on the wall, mate. Third room. Ridiculous. No, but he didn't win the second. Because he's bringing up Chang Tuz's quotes, or whatever his name is. Second is the first loser, you know? No good at all. Yeah, another busy day. Oh, Andrew. Yeah. You're not going to have time. Oh. <laughs> Gotta return the cushion guns. They weren't what we asked for. Oh, God. Before he goes to work, Andrew will have to pitch in a bit more today to help keep labour costs within budget. Yeah, I've got this funny feeling today that Kenny's gonna crack the whip this morning. And uh, I better be ready, I suppose. Hey, Andrew, what did you cut those holes with, man? Your teeth. A <laughs> little bit out. Close enough. But close enough for rock and roll. That's right, mate. Oh, mate, you're a legend. Richard and Stephen are also feeling the purse strings tight, so they pitch in before their workday begins. Matt and Jane are still investing a fair amount of their budget in Trent. Their builder from Melbourne, who they import each week. From builder's apprentice to neurosurgeon's apprentice, is there no limit to Andrew's power tool skills? Supervisor Professor Morgan's doing some surgery this morning. 
and uh, I'm going to be in there just observing and maybe hopefully later on get to scrub in and help out a little bit. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's actually really nice to come here, get away from the block. And just don't let it wobble, OK? Yeah, that's While Dave Harding's boys forge ahead with the upstairs loss, Dave's checking out Matt's kitchen. Due this weekend. No, Matty, you'll get it done, but I'd, I'd, hate, I'd hate to blow in his boots trying to get this done, mate. I wouldn't want it like this with two weeks out, mate. It's a lot of work to do. I don't think he's got any chance of getting it finished. But I guess I'll work all weekend. It'll be done by Sunday afternoon. Our couples are now well on their way to delivering their third room. And with the bills now paid on their second room, it's time for them to start having a good, hard look at their budget. Our sponsors gave each couple $70,000, deposited in a Viridian line of credit account. This is basically a renovator's home loan, so they can have complete access to their money via ATMs, checks, FPOS and the internet. And that's exactly how we're able to keep track of everyone's budgets. Jason and Kirsten spent a whopping $12,570 on their master bedroom and $10,679 on their ensuite. Taking into account the prize money won so far, they have $52,251 left. Matt and Jane spent just under $10,000 on their front bedroom and just over $10,000 on their bathroom laundry. Adding in their prize winnings gives them $54,207 left to spend. Richard and Stephen spent over $11,000 on their front bedroom and did it again on their ensuite. With no prize money yet, they're left with only 47 grand. Jamie and Andrew inherited Danny and Monique's bedroom makeover at a cost of $8,906 and then spent nearly $16,000 renovating their front bedroom. They did win 500 from a challenge, but that's done little to help their bottom line. They are the poorest couple on the block, with $45,842 left. I don't know what we're doing wrong. I don't... I don't get how we're spending so much money. I mean, we're buying top quality stuff, don't get me wrong. But... There comes a point when you've only got so much money and we've reached it. <laughs> the last room for bathroom and entry ended up being a bit under 12, I think, um, which is pretty good, really. We're in a pretty good position. And if we keep going along the same sort of way, then we'll be, and plus we won the last room, then we'll be good. I could make a tradesman out of no problem. He's a, he's a thinker. You know, that's what I like about people that work with me. They get involved in what we're doing and they think about what we're doing. And they actually have a bit of forethought and, you know, like think beyond the square and think a little bit further down the track and say, well, what's going to happen when we get to this point? Rather than whack it up and then you have to pull it all out. So I was quite impressed with them. And look at that. Look at that. The guys up that, that are putting upstairs together, <coughs> every day they need the lead, so they unplug the hot water heater. So I've got to plug it in, and I forgot as I was stepping into the shower, so I've just asked you to plug it in. Okay. Okay. That's my cue. Andrew! We have to stop the power tools. It's after seven. We just don't need to have another line. No, no. We don't need the waterproofer to come tomorrow morning and say, thanks, but you're not ready for me. We're just going to have to risk it again. Again. <laughs> it's not much. We've just got to finish the end of the frame off. And a few more drills and stuff. The drop saw's the, the loud bit. What is $600. It's nothing. OK. We're going to uh, dinner with our real estate agent, their marketing people, and the auctioneer. We haven't met him yet. Um, for a bit of a powwow on, you know, a plan on 
um, how to market ourselves and the apartment. They've got the general plan, but we're in control here, so we want to make sure that we're getting we're getting what we want. Please, Louise. I'm just writing down how much we spent already. <laughs> And then just like, just go to bed and relax. But you've just got a thousand things going through your head, so you can't. But he's been so good and just taking the load at the moment, which is really nice. He's a good boyfriend. I'll keep him. <laughs> I'm just doing the... Budget. I've got some more invoices from the weekend, and it's always fun trying to work out the budget. It's not easy. We we sort of have a bath tub, no floors, no nothing. Good insulation. We're hoping it actually rains tonight so we can take the soap out in the street and have a good shower because it's been a while. Because I'm just exhausted. <laughs> because my life's manic. <laughs> Kirst had a huge day yesterday. She left at 6.30 and finished work at about, about 6.30 and was back on a, on, was at the spin class, teaching a spin class. And got home at just after 7.30, so it was a big day for Kirst. But she battles on. Getting waterproofed at seven o'clock this morning. I wanted to set this wall as well. I just <laughs> I finished up in here about two o'clock. Need more sleep. But I gotta make sure when if he gets here, he knows what's going on. The Tyler man. The boys are here. Oh, you know, privacy doesn't exist really, does it? <laughs> like, yeah, it just doesn't happen. You even have to try and lock the door to keep people out of the toilet. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what the universe was thinking when they put me in this show, but um, maybe I had a few lessons to learn. <laughs> All this water this morning was coming up from the drain. And that's, you know, soaking wet dripping now. So I was freaking out, so I pried open the waste cover and I reached my hand down there and there was uh, this rag, which had all this muck. That was down in the drain. And I remember the tiler had put, you know, rags down there to stop any smells before he had finished the, um, the tiling. And I guess he just forgot to take it out. <laughs> Jace, it's been sitting in here, Jace. Uh, uh, I think I recall putting that back in the fridge. But Don't I was do that. I was interrupted by some new builders. I discovered it this morning. Nice, Jay. Yeah. Okay, oh, does that mean we need to re-put the hot water on? Jay? We'll be right, honey. Famous last words in this place. <laughs> You'll be right. I love this stuff. I don't know why. According to my brother, there's some dormant gene within our family that makes you want to build things. If I didn't have to get out of bed at 6.30 in the morning, it'd be fun to stay up till 3.30. Time is everything in here. So, if you can do any little thing to try and save yourself a bit of time, it's good. I reckon I'm as good at plastering as I am at doing wall, uh, shooting walls. So we're about to find out exactly how good that is. Um, right now, I should be in the car heading off to the airport. So I'm going up to Queensland. Just for the day, because I have, um... I've been doing two home, two houses at once, put this apartment and a house in Queensland. And today's the finishing day to finish it off. And it's got to be finished today. There's no two ways about it. Alright, see you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> have a yeah. good trip. Yeah. 
Jason and I have always been very busy and had hectic lives and we've always been able to juggle a lot of stuff and I think a lot of that comes down to just being organised and just looking forward and just keeping ahead of ourselves, just trying to, you know, look at the big picture and keep everything really organised and structured as much as possible and sort of keep on track. Back at the block, our builders are on track to finish the new attics. Fortunately for them, they've only got one job to concentrate on, unlike Jamie. I've just got too many things going in my head and I want to quit work. And, and although they're really good and really supportive and they say it's OK, it's not OK, I don't think it's OK. I want to be able to do both and I'm just not doing it at the moment. It's really hard. So yeah, I've got to be quick because I've got to get back to work. But yeah. Now, the block is getting a brand new roof. The old tiles are being replaced with a special marine grade colour bond roof. Perfect when you're a block away from the beach. It's amazing, we swapped from our main bathroom to our second bedroom sort of halfway into last week. So we were a few days behind in terms of the production schedule. So got a lot to do. Is it? Yeah, thanks, mate. We've lost our builder. Kenny? No, we haven't. We killed Kenny. Are you serious? <laughs> Kenny doesn't want to play anymore. Are you serious? <laughs> he ran me to say. I don't want to play anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> He wants to do the kitchen okay. because he loves cabinetry and all of that. Yeah, so who are we getting? I forgot to ring him. Ma Mark or Mike or someone? Let's let's something. seriously see if we can do a different builder for every room. <laughs> Is he keen to be on it? He's really keen to be who on cares? it. Yes. He can do one room and then we'll get rid of him. <laughs> no, he's really keen, so we'll give him a call and beg him. Okay. No one wants to play with us. <laughs> Until they find a builder, they're going to have to rely on not only the kindness of their neighbours... This bark, this shout, it's, it's very good. You're going to have a hard time getting me out of here, I think. ..but the company of their neighbours as well. It's a bit... Hello, Thank you. What sounds better? Thank you for reminding me what it was like to be young or thank you for keeping me young. I think Apart from doing the block, living away from home, running her own business and planning her wedding, Jane also had an idea to write a book. In fact, she's working on nine books. Uh, couldn't you do both? Yeah, no, too small. OK. See, I'm, the, I'm her muse. With room number three fast approaching, I thought it would be a good time to check on the renovations. Um, this is it going to be our um, spare room or second bedroom yeah. slash um, study slash media room. And we've got some beautiful joinery going here, 700 high, for the computer, for the TV, for the sound system, for the big pond, um, the internet, we've got Wi-Fi, you name it, we've got the technology. It's going to be a fantastic home office. You'll be able to land the shuttle on the moon. I hope so. I mean, <laughs> this, could be, this could be NASA's second station. Hey, hey. All right. Sign's not for me, is it? No, no, no. For everyone else but you. Oh, OK. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks. Where's your better half tonight? Uh, he had to go to Brisbane, finish a job up there. Really? For a client. Yeah. So you're flying solo? Yeah. Excellent. Show me around. What is this room again? It's a study. Oh, right. And, and a guest bedroom. So there's going to be storage here, here and here, like underneath the stairwell? Yeah. We've decided to have big drawers here instead. Oh, OK. So you'll have drawers yeah. here and then drawers here. Yeah, and there. Great. So you're maximising your storage under the stairs. Yeah. Creative little puppies, aren't you? We try. <laughs> this ah. is our kitchen. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Guys, there's only a few days to go. Yeah, I know. What are you thinking? We're putting the, the dining table hard up on this stepped up edge. Right. It's very ambitious and I love what you're doing, but there's not a lot going on. <laughs> so I'm going to go. 
No, I'll come round for a roast on Sunday. I'll look forward to it. If the kitchen's here. It'll be here. It'll be right. here. See ya. See ya. I've got to say, I'm very impressed. You put all the sheeting up by yourselves? Yep, till 2am this morning. For amateurs, you did a great job. We had some help. They're our feature tile. Mm. They're, they're going to go. I in. hope so, because they look expensive. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> all you need to do now is find a builder. Yeah. I know. Oh. Do you know anyone? <laughs> oh, no. Jamie, hey. what are you doing for the next I'm couple of weeks? I'm Switzerland. Bye-bye. Good luck. <laughs> that guy's no help. Anyway, to finish for the day, here's my thought. I could have written a list about the perfect woman that I wanted to do, but I thought that I'd have as a wife, and she blows my mind away every time I go through it. I'm actually so proud of her, and again, it's just one of those things that amazes me that she ever picked me. <laughs> I don't think I'll actually believe that until we actually get married. Mind blowing. I really don't care about the reveal this weekend. All I care about is getting a bathroom. Problem is there's no running water. <laughs> no tiles, no taps. No bathroom. <laughs> well, what I actually did, it's all, um, it's all that uh, Dulux effects paint. So, I mean, the way they suggest that you put it on is this crisscross pattern, like you do suede paint. But what I did was I got um, a big wallpaper brush and then just basically did these big sweeping circles. Like, this is just like the under the base of it. And then what will happen is we'll just do more and more circles that just keep overlapping each one. Another late one last night. Didn't get to bed till about two. Nah. No heavy drinking or anything, just up working or watching people work because they won't let you take control of the brush. <laughs> Everything's just creased and uh, dirty and I can't shave. And... It's a really weird feeling just walking from unit to unit asking to use their shower. <laughs> Everyone oh. says it's okay, but you just feel a bit strange. Just Jamie. Just one. Hello. Hi. Come in. Come in. Stephen doesn't trust me. Huh? I do. No, you don't. Oh. I asked if I could start doing circles Yeah, but this. that's not trust. That's not... It, it's, it's just... Yeah, but I watched the master at work and I learned. In order for me to grow, you're going to have to encourage oh. me. Yeah, those have to be moved. Look, these are fragile. Yep. All right, I just saw you knocking them through. I'm going to move them so it doesn't... Sorry, mate. Down. No worries. Stephen, how you doing? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Davo. G'day, mate. How are you, buddy? Good. How are you? Not too bad, mate. Now, I was talking to uh, some people about this step up and they were a bit worried that it might be a problem. The issue with the floor is that they're a bit worried that this may be classified as an exit route to get out of the building. And if that's the case, they're worried that the step up might be a trip hazard, which I think's ridiculous. But I think you should know in your own house where your steps are. Is it possible to get the building surveyor to come and have a look? From what I've been told, you can get the building surveyor out here, but you'll have to pay for it. Happy to do that. Yeah. I'm ignoring the go-ahead. I know that sounds a bit risky, but I, I can't wait until I get the go-ahead to keep things moving along. Otherwise, we won't have a room to reveal on Sunday. What I'm actually doing is assuming the best, and if it's not, then in retrospect, going back. The real challenge of this project is that even though you're focused on one room at a time, you've, you've got to be thinking six weeks ahead because you know, sparkies and plumbers, you know, don't work on a room at a time. They've got to really, you know, get all of the, uh, get the whole place set up properly. This morning I've got a second meeting with the publisher about my thank you books. They're basically a series of nine books um, that have original sayings set to pictures and they're 
just really different from anything that's on the market. This is a oh. dummy oh um, of what we think the book should be it's like, isn't it? While Jane seems to be finding a new career as a writer, across town, Stephen's thriving in his new job in Sydney, in the puppet department of The Lion King. A couple of things that have come to attention right now. Francois over there in the red singlet, his zebra's bum's like right up in the air and it doesn't look natural. So we've got to actually pad the front so the balance of the zebra comes down. Compared to the block, this is easy. You know, um, it's good because you I come here and it's just a, another completely different world, even though they're very similar, you know. So like here, I'm behind the scenes, and over there, I'm in front of the scenes. I am the scenes. <laughs> so that's a bit strange. If it all goes according to the schedule, fine. But if one thing falls out of whack, the whole thing just... We don't have the tolerance built in to, to miss a day or anything. But, you know, living on the edge, we should get it done. Good choice. Very good choice. We like them. Hopefully we win this one. We will win this one. What are you talking about, hopefully? Stephen and Richard clearly don't want anyone at the block to see what they're bringing home for their next room. <laughs> Do you want to take it up the back steps? <laughs> oh, come on in there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Meanwhile, Andrew seems to have found that new builder. What do you think? This is a nightmare. There's a, there's a, there's a mine. Look, there's a bomb has hit it. <laughs> Upstairs, Matt's already planning a design for the attic. So tell me about the books. Well, we met today, this morning, and they basically said they loved it and um, they showed me a little mock-up of how they see the cover being and when like, the stock. When do we the get stock. to see the mock-up? You don't get to see it. I'm going to surprise you. Oh. Pretty ordinary. They may only have three oh. days left to complete their study, but Bridget and Stephen yeah. are still tinkering with their That's last room. To, that sort of thing I was looking for. OK. Wait, wait. OK. Where'd you find all this? This is sick. Where'd you find all this? Right, when it's up to the light. No, that's what I love. That okay. looks great. Yeah. Look yeah. at this, because I'm thinking, you know how we've got these picture frames with the labels still stuck in them? We could put some of this stuff in mm. there, right? How, how much time did you spend on this, Bill? 15 minutes. Okay. Don't. <laughs> Wedding's eight days away. Very exciting. I'll have to carry you on as a threshold. Yeah. Let me practice. Oh, honey, careful you don't rick your back. I've got to be nervous on the wedding night. If I'm this nervous already. Oh, Probably not a good idea, huh? No. <laughs> I'm built. What am I? Buffed. Buffed. I'm so tired. I'm really, this afternoon, I'm really feeling it. I don't know why. I think it's because I've, I've had a chance to relax. I've seen my bathroom getting tiled and I've, I've thought, well, I can relax a bit and now I'm just getting tired. When we decided we wanted to come in here, one of the best things about that, the thing that excited me the most was Jamie, um, her reactions to things. Knowing that she'll have an idea in her head and when it actually comes to life, how excited she'll get about that, I just love that. Because she is so enthusiastic about everything. And it gets me down when she's not enthusiastic. So maybe that's why I'm hanging out for her to come home and see our new bathroom. My first initial, like I didn't even see those, how good those look. I saw the back and saw they didn't line up and went, oh God, what have they done? Um, Cause it just would have made sense to me to line, um, obviously a tile up with that one and then walk across and then have, oh. <laughs> I hate this. Must be nuts. Especially when I've been 
been working all day and I've taught a class and I come home and there's crack everywhere. I just, I, I don't know why we even comment on the rooms before they're finished. I don't. I'm just saying, from well, my personal opinion, I would have preferred the tiles to run. No. Yep. Gotcha. Why are you being such a poop? Because there's about nothing it? we can do about it. Yeah, but I'm saying, <laughs> but I'm saying, it doesn't mean I have to think it's fantastic. Oh you understand, don't you? I'm generally pretty laid back and, and there's just silly little things that are getting to me now and it's only it's just because I'm not sort of relaxing enough. Up, 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 up. What's wrong? Yeah, you got <laughs> what did I just tell you? You said go over it. See it's got it's... way too much paint up here at the moment. Alright. So you gotta really roll it out. Really roll it out. Hey, hey mate, how are you? Good, can I use the bathroom? Coming? Yeah, of course. She is mate. Yeah, okay, good. Yep, there she is. I just don't want to play anymore. I just want to go to sleep. I'm tired and I've got a full tummy. Thank you. That's okay. I feel refreshed now. Sweet okay, dreams. Not having brushing my teeth. Hey, Thank you. Good night. I hope paint if you ask nicely. Finish my report. I don't know, maybe I'll get to bed. Keeps beeping at me. This is just what I need after my dinner. Still waiting. I'm getting used to this kind of thing. This puff doesn't generally run smoothly in here. Hello again. <clears throat> just an update, still can't get the computer to work. And I don't think it's the computer's fault. I'll keep you posted. I've got a 7 a.m. meeting this morning, and then I've got a 1 o'clock flight to Melbourne, and then 7 a.m. I'm back tomorrow morning. So I'm going to be very tired. Jamie's first meeting this morning is to raise her concerns about the bathroom tiling with the tiler. Oh my god. I didn't, I was just a bit sort of shocked. But how did you explain that? Now see how it's I feel like an idiot now. Basically centered, it looks like you haven't tried to line the joints up. I've been completely proved wrong. <laughs> um, but as I said to Damien with the tiles, I envisioned that they'd all match up, but that's actually not the way that they do it. Otherwise, yeah, if you do try and line the joints up, it, it'll just gradually step, and by the end it'll be that far off, and it just looks terrible. See, if I had a blade, then we would have been in big trouble, we would have had big gaps. That's exactly right. You get into this mindset where everything's smooth sailing, and you think just stuff has to start going wrong, or um, it's, you're, not, you're not still on the plot. And, and you do, you get paranoid. There's a paranoia that floats around here that mm. I've never experienced before. It's nice when it gets proven wrong. It's very nice. I feel like a spastic. <laughs> had a great night last night. Got to bed about 12.30. Kirsten's still tucked away in bed. Kirsten had to teach a class last night, so to have to back up and, and paint till 12.30. It's a, it's a tough gig. Good morning. Good morning. Nothing I like to see more than the morning ablutions. How did your painting go? Yeah, painting, fantastic. Yeah, really good. Uh, until about 12.30 last night. You didn't hear too much music? I would have offered, but if you'd seen me paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sabotage. <laughs> Probably the worst painter I've ever seen. Doesn't believe in any prep. No sanding for that. Just, just throw the paint on and worry about it later. That's what digital painting, mate. I have never seen anybody paint by jumping off the ground. Sorry. That is why you get zero on the painting skill. 
think I'll grab a letter. That's good, I don't know. It's good, doesn't it? It's how you like my painting. Jay? Yeah, it's coming together. Yeah. I think we all uh, saw how enthusiastic Trent is to have me as a sidekick. There is so much pain on the roll. So we've done all we can tonight. <laughs> and I think by the time I come back from tomorrow, he will have done better progress without me. But, um, you know, I fired him up. I said, no one thinks you're going to get this done by Sunday. And who says? Oh, everyone's saying it's not going to be done. And, <laughs> and watch him go. It's about 12.30 again. This is our third night in a row painting. We're exhausted. We're going a bit nuts. But we've just finished our final coat, so we're very tired. It's bloody hot. What are you doing? Because it's so hot, I'm painting my speedos. Nice bum. Look at my paint. I look like... Grandma! Nice! The time is now 11.58 and this is Andrew. And he's shattered. Just a five second power now. Okay, I'll leave you having a snooze. Mm -hmm. Well, with everyone looking and feeling so tired, I think it's time to get him out of the block, out to the fresh air and sunshine for a bit of healthy exercise to help lift their spirits. So what do we think, guys? Time for a game of volleyball? Yeah, yeah wow. let's do it. Now, I don't know whether you know this or not, but last year I played all eight members of the block. And of course I lost, but I did go down with a bit of a fight. So this year what I thought I'd do is make it a little bit more interesting and play for something I know you all love. Cold hard cash. Yeah. So this is how it works. If I win, I get to take $1,000 off each of your budgets and donate it to my favourite charity. However, if you guys win, you get to keep your budgets and I go home empty handed. <laughs> Sounds fair, doesn't it? <laughs> and just to make it all honest and fair, guys, our good friend Dave Harding, the fairest man I know. Hey? <laughs> One point away from losing four thousand dollars. Yeah. Come on, you guys, teamwork. Yes. That's four thousand dollars to the Children's Cancer Institute Australia. Good game, guys. Good game. What about well done, guys. Done. Well done. Well done. Good morning. I don't know. <laughs> Next time on the block, it's room delivery. Look at that. Yeah! Richard's gone, so I don't know what's going on. Oh my god! Sons of bitches. <laughs> I can't believe they did this. Just beware. Oh my god. What? They're playing our game. What do you mean, what? It's just no end inside, is there? No, it's it. It's don't you know. No, 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 no. Just keep moving, honey. Righto, guys, time's up. I now declare the block open for inspection. Well done, guys. Hey, hey. Ta-da. Oh, my God. Plastic flowers. I'm not sure that this style is particularly relevant to manly. It's not even a bedroom. That's tacky. 